So this is my daily driver laptop. It has an RTX 2060 in it. It's got an i7 Coffee Lake processor, and it's about the time to start thinking about upgrading. I know a lot of people who watch my channel are probably like, dude, your laptop is 10 times better than my computer. And I get that, but this is my daily driver. I edit videos on it. I don't own a desktop and I get a lot of value out of my computers. And I can sell my old one for somewhere around seven, eight, nine hundred dollars And you know, for an extra, you know, three, four hundred dollars I'll get my money's worth out of what it's able to give me as far as better fun when I'm gaming, as well as better utility as rendering videos and opening uh, software and transferring files. Um, including better Bluetooth and all sorts of other little uh, upgrades you get when you go to the latest and the greatest. Now, Gizmo Slip Tech made this really great list of all the available 30 series laptops. And I want to go 30 series because why not? Um, if you're going to be going big, uh, you know, go to the next generation graphics cards. The, I, the other big question I had, and here's all my questions here of, of my preferences. Uh, is Intel or AMD. And benchmark, you can see the 5800H compared to the 10870H, which is the new, which is what you're kind of comparing these two laptops to. And as far as workstation performance, it's considerably better. And uh, so I'm gonna go and make that leap. The problem with the Ryzen processor is, you notice a lot of these Ryzen's temporarily not available. Temporarily not available. They're supposedly not gonna be coming out until around March. You can still find them today, but they're hard to find. So that's why I'm going 5800H. RAM, 16 gigs is fine, 32 would be great. I would prefer a 3070, but if I can get a 3060 Max P, I'd be fine with that. Speaking of Max P versus Max Q, there's crazy things going on in the laptop market right now where depending on the wattage of your power brick and the cooling of the laptop, you can technically have a 3070 Max Q underperform a 3060 Max P. 3060 can outperform it. You can also have a 3080 Max Q be outperformed by a 3070 Max P, potentially, depending on how much power the unit is getting and how good the cooling is. So that is scary about these new laptops and many people are talking about this and uh, that's why if you notice here, the wattage is included on most of these laptops. A couple other little things for me that are big that'll save you hundreds of dollars is also how big of a hard drive. I'd prefer a one terabyte so I can just add my own one terabyte and make it two terabytes. A lot of these are coming with 512 and to have a 512 and a one isn't to me as, as good of a situation as if I had a one and then I just added another one terabyte hard drive. Now as far as monitors, I'd prefer 17 inch but if you look at this list here, all these laptop companies are going all in on these 15 inch displays, even 14 inch displays. And I get it, you know, if you're gonna build a gaming laptop, you know, you want it to be compact. That's the whole point of going for a laptop in the first place. But me, the extra two inches, I, I can handle it. So I'd go for a 17.3 if I could. And that's why something like this is what I'm, this is actually everything I want and the price is right. The reason I don't like t the tough though is the inputs and the outputs. It has very little USB slots and very little inputs and outputs. I believe, because I use, for example, a display port on my external hard drive, and I don't think this one has a display port. I think it has a USB 2.0 that I have to like run an adapter, but that's one less USB port I have. So while the tough series is probably one of the best buys out there right now, especially with the Ryzen, once it comes available, I still prefer, I'm thinking my, my biggest contender right now is actually the G17 Strix uh, Asus and then also the Gigabyte, um, not this particular model here, but they have a model similar to this in 17 with a 3060 uh, with the Ryzen processor. The Ryzen 3060, they make this with a 17 inch screen for like 1399. Some of these computer manufacturers allow you to edit to like customize it, I can turn it into 32 and turn this into to one terabyte with the 17 inch screen. Mind you, it's 1080p, you can still get it for well under $1,500. So that's where I'm looking right now. If you notice, these are sorted by price. So right in this area right here is where I'm looking. And you can see, I, I might actually even be able to get a 3070 at that price point if you're lucky. Like here, you can the HP Omen, you get the you have 1599. Or, the, or get this one right here, you get the 3070. 
Which, so what do you think? Should I go for the extra, for $1,500, $1,600, I can go ahead and get a 3070. And then again, if I get the A7, the A7 is the 17 inch version, get this with a 3070, or just get this with a one terabyte hard drive for right around 1450 and get the 3060. So that's what I'm working with right now. And that's where we are. I wanted to just shed some light if anybody else is looking for a laptop because where the prices are changing a lot is whether you get the QHD screen, the 1440p. And mind you, that is a nice upgrade, especially if you're gaming in HD. But mind you that on a 15 inch screen, the, the difference in 1080 and 1440 is not gonna be night and day like it would be on a 50 inch big screen TV. As far as high refresh rate, I know people are getting behind like the 240 hertz and 300 hertz and to me, once you go 144, it's it's night and day from 60 hertz. So that's gonna be your biggest improvement. These things are just nice to have, but not that big a deal. Same thing with this upgrade. And those are areas where I wouldn't mind saving a little bit of money um, and just spending a little more of my money on the 5800H, maybe even going up to a 5900, and then going up to a 3070 versus a 3060. So that's where I'm at today as far as my hunt. I want to make this video to see if somebody maybe can slap me and say, dude, you, you got it all wrong, you gotta go here. Um, as far as one of the best deals I saw, bang for your buck if you want all these things, it's probably this one right here, the Zephyr, or, or the Zephyrus. Um, you get the HD screen, you get the high refresh rate, you get the Ryzen 9, not only is it the Ryzen, it's a 5900 Ryzen on this one, the 5900HS. So let's go to this benchmark, look at this. It's 3% better than Intel, look at this. 9% better. That is a screamer. Now it's not 17 inches like I'd like, so that's one of the downsides why I don't like it. I'm also a little concerned with how compact it is, if I can add another one terabyte or not, I have to look into it. But it has a super fast processor, good graphics card, solid screen, um, not too much RGB. I wish I had a number pad on it. That's my only personal preference. By the way, did you know a lot of people like mechanical buttons on the click pad? I, I, I don't know, I don't really care. Um, it looks really clean too. I, I really dig it. Um, now as far as inputs and outputs though, that actually isn't something I've put too much. Okay, HDMI, and then looks like a USB 2.0. I'll have to check it out a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Do you have room for another hard drive? Yeah, you do. Look, you got another spot right there. Or my mouse is. Yeah, this one, this one, you know, I know it's a lot more money, but uh, this one might be the, the buy as far as best bang for your buck. Well, I'll end this here. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.